Alright, hey guys, and this tutorial will be showing you how to create um, some selection masks or selection mask in 3ds Max. So the way it looks like is something like this. You see how it's color coded, and this is essentially a UV. My UVs for my model, and the selection mask will allow me to select these. Uh, UV clusters very easily in Photoshop with something like the magic wand tool and I'll also be showing you how to create some of these let's get rid of that some of these layer masks and these are useful if you will be painting your model in a 3d painting program like mudbox and you need these layer masks so that so you only paint on that portion okay so we'll get right into it here 3s max open that up so here's the model I'll be using for this tutorial and let me just get rid of the background assets okay so you want to make sure is that all your whole model is unwrapped and ready to be ready to be baked in our render texture so what we're going to be doing is we will be assigning colors to different portions of this model using a multi sub object shader and then we'll be using render to texture to bake out all of that information now in order to use render to texture and in order to have one nice uh, selection mask you'll have to make sure your whole model is uh, one single object. So you see in this case I have a few different pieces here of this model. So I have this portion, this portion. You want to make sure all of that is one single object. And you can just attach it. Uh, it will probably attach. Now be careful if your model has any modifiers like Turbo Smooth, you want to make sure you delete them. So I'm going to select this and delete that modifier. You want to make sure you do that for all the assets delete the turbo smooth and let me select this delete okay and these are these don't have any these are not part of the unwrap so let me hide them okay so here's the model looking nice and next we're going to select one piece of it we're going to go to attach in here click on this attach list opens up the list in this case we're going to select all okay we're going to attach everything now okay that's all one object that's great so we can bake one single map for this whole asset the uh, s uh, selection mask okay next step is to Go to our material editor. Open that up. Okay, so I'm going to use a sleep material editor here. And what you want to do is in your materials, you want to create the multi sub object material. Okay, just drag it out in the viewport. There it is, multi sub object material. And for this for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just be creating uh, three colors for this, okay? But uh, originally, I had uh, many colors, about nine of them. Uh, so you want to set that here. So I'm going to create three colors, three materials, okay? And basically, what this what this shader does is it um, assigns assigns some materials to your poly polygon selection okay so you see here if we go to element mode we can select all our different pieces in here you have something called the polygon material IDs and these material IDs are associated with this multi sub object shader okay, and that's what we're going to be using here so we're just going to close all of these and make sure you have polygon material IDs open okay so let's say I want the I want this whole base whole base to be one color. 
Okay, I want to select this whole base in Photoshop and assign a color to it. So that's why I'm going to make sure it's all one color here. I'm going to go and drag in a standard material. And in this case, I'm just going to make it red. Okay. And this is going to be material ID 1. Drag that in the material ID 1 slot. You can see here. And I'm going to rename this to be base. Okay, what's very important here is that you want to make sure the self illumination is 100%. And we're doing this so that when we render our texture, when we render our, sele uh, our selection mask, we it will be very flat. Okay, uh, the, all the lighting will be disregarded. Okay, so you won't have any some shadows in there. Okay, so that's why setting it to 100% self-illuminated will solve that issue. Okay, I'm gonna create another center material. Maybe this material will be for this portion. So go in here, and call it top. Make sure the colors are unique. Maybe I'll make it green. 100% self illuminated. And material ID 2. Okay, and just one more. And create another color. Let's make it a nice blue here. There we go. Material ID 3. Okay. So now we have three different IDs that we have to associate with this model. Okay, so before we apply, what I advise you to do is right here. This is the base, all right. The first material ID is the base, and the, that's the color red. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of the base pieces and go ahead and set the ID to one. Okay, so that's already set to one. Now we're going to select the top, select the top, and set the ID to two. Okay, so all these pieces are have the ID set to two, and then <coughs> we need one more. Let's say we want to select uh, these floor panels here, just so we can assign maybe a gray color to them in Photoshop. Go to Polygon Selection, select those, set the ID to three. There we go. Now we go to our shader here you just want to assign it okay you can see how all those colors are associate with their IDs okay that looks good now what we're going to do is we're going to bake these textures out so we can have something like this okay so let's go to our rendering by the way, I'm using the enhanced menus here, so make sure you have your enhanced. Go to render. I'm oh, sorry, go to materials, create edit maps, bake maps, or hit zero as the keyboard shortcut. Alright, so here is the user interface. What we're going to do is objects to bake. Okay, here it is. That object. We're going to go down here. We're not doing any normal mapping, we don't need any projections, mapping coordinates, make sure you're using an existing channel, make sure you do not uh, tick automatic uh, unwrap, or you use, uh, you'll lose all your unwrap, you did. And if we look at the UVs, so let's go to materials, and apply the unwrap, UV editor, here's the UVs of this model. Now this is associated with map channel 1, so in here, make sure you use existing channel, channel 1, okay? And they'll associate the mapping coordinates to use this channel. Alright. Let's go to the next reload, output. In the output, the map we're going to be baking out is the diffuse map. Make sure you select the diffuse map, add elements. Make sure you're you're not baking out any lighting or shadow information. And choose a size here. I'm gonna choose 2K. 
uh, save it somewhere. Save it to desktop and call it selection mask format. I'm just going to use maybe a TGA save. That looks good. Okay. Done. And we don't have to worry about these next two rollouts. With that selected, click on render. Okay, and before you do click on render, actually, uh, you want to make sure you are using the default scan line. And now I'm using Mental Ray. Okay, just use a default scan line, it will render very fast and easy for you. A default scan line renderer. And also make sure you are not using any lighting plugins. Alright, so let's render this out and dismiss this dialog and there you go you can already start seeing the the mask selection mask <sighs> rendering here all right so once it's done You'll notice that all these bottom portions are red, and then we have, remember these floor panels? Yeah, they're all one single color right now. Alright, great. So the way you use this in uh, Photoshop is you would go in here, and let me go into Photoshop. I'm going to start brand new uh, documents, so open open up that selection mask open that up okay so here it is and the way you would use this in Photoshop is let me just first unlock this layer here is you would go ahead and let's say okay let's say uh, I want these floor panels to be a great color Okay, these floor panels are being great color. So what we would do is just go in here, go to our magic wand tool, we could leave all these settings at their default, and just select these colors here. I'm holding shift to add to my selection. Alright, great. So we selected those. We create a new layer, make sure it's below. And go to our paint bucket tool, choose a color. I'm going to choose a gray color here, okay, and fill that in, make sure we turn that off, you can see now that's uh, one whole color here, and then when we apply that texture map back, these will be the gray color, and that's really the whole purpose of the selection mask, is instead of going in and selecting these clusters with the Photoshop selection tool you just use the selection mask to quickly do it for you and here I'll show you an example so here is the texture for this model okay and here you can see how okay here's a texture for the model and some of these pieces needed to have Maybe a new, f a different filter or a different color, like these, like um, the the base here you see. And I use this selection mask, and I quickly added that in. And that's where where it comes in very handy. All right, so that's the selection selection mask portion. Right, so in this uh, next portion, I'm going to show you how to create the layer mask. So. Already discussed this. I'm going to have to do that again. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and discuss how to create these layer masks. And these are these act as layer masks when you're painting in a 3D program. So, continuing from where we left off, I'm going to apply a just a standard material, nice gray standard material in here. And make sure it's all one object. You have your UV coordinates. What you want to do is you want to use the render surface maps. 
uh, in 3ds max so we find that hit x search render uh, surface maps render surface map and hopefully as soon as I didn't find here just go to uh, materials create render service map there it is and here what you want to do is you want to first choose a, a, a bitmap size okay I'm going to stick to 512 to make this quick and easy fast and what you want to do is you want to select an element here let's say I only want to paint uh, this portion of the model so I select that and I click on selection to bitmap okay and there's the mask we save this out call this mask dot uh, TGA And then you would go and paint your model and use a mask. So a quick example of this, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, viewport canvas. So paint bitmap, viewport canvas, paint, so diffuse color. See this texture here. Okay. Alright, so here we are in the viewport canvas. Uh, let me I want to render. Okay, so let's say I only want to paint this portion of the model. I'll create a new layer. And let me just color. Let me set that up. Let me just change the size maybe. And you see how when I try to paint so this is going to affect this geometry so these are when these layer masks will come in handy you can click on the layer add layer mask make sure we are filling all of it and then load bitmap bitmap load the mask okay open that up so now let's try painting on this you see that only paints on that particular region and this is just viewport canvas. Uh, you can use these masks for uh, other applications like Mudbox. All right. So in this tutorial, I've teached you how to create some of these layer masks you can use when you're painting your model in 3D applications, and I also showed you how to create these selection masks that you can use when you're using Photoshop and you're painting a model and you want to select the individual UV clusters All right. well, thanks for watching if you have any questions leave them below and I'll help you out for sure and see you next time